I have seen so many people asking about the rate analysis. How do we analyze the rate of any item in the project? How can we calculate the cost? So it is actually simple and previously we explained how can we calculate the cost, but we explained theoretically. But in this video, I am going to give you an example with numbers and I'll use an Excel sheet that will be blank. From scratch, we will create everything so that I can show you how can you do the rate analysis for an item in the project. So I am starting from scratch here to create a cost estimation template. But before I do that, I'll do a BOQ. So serial number, item description, unit, quantity, rate, amount. So I'm creating it from scratch so that you can see the full process. Or even if the BOQ is already there, so you won't have to do all of this. So item description and all. Okay, I'll just take this part and make border. So now I have a BOQ, kind of. Okay, or a BOQ page, let's say. If I go ahead and make this one narrow, fit all columns, A4, okay, great. Then, bring this one here, reduce this one, and I want to freeze this. Okay. Now let's add a few more rows and expand this, decrease this, and make the amount bigger, rate, make unit smaller. So something like that margins, horizontal margins. Okay, so that's a BOQ page somehow. And now let's say we have one item here that says, let's say this is bill number nine, bill nine finishes. And I'll just make this column start from left. So I have the finishes here. And under the finishes I have flooring. And under the flooring, let's say we have supply and installation of 60 by 60 porcelain tiles, including all required fixing mortar and accessories all in accordance with project specifications and subject to engineer's approval. So description will be something like that. And I just want to wrap this text. And the unit of measurement here will be, let's say, square meter. So that's square meter. And let's say we have 2000 square meters of porcelain tiles. So the amount will be equal to the rate multiplied by the quantity. And down here, let's remove some lines. This, well, let's assume that this will be the page total here and all borders. And here I'll say total amount or page total whatever, or total page. So this will be the submission of all the items in this page. And just remove one line, make it bold. Okay. Now I want to go to the estimation now. This is my BOQ, this is the item that I want to make rate analysis for. Now what is the next step? I want to analyze the rate. So I'll be analyzing the rate here in this area. So let's say here rate, no here rate amount and this I want to merge these two and call them materials and make it bold then I'll copy this paste here 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 okay so I have materials and equipment or plant then manpower or labor and here sub contractors or subcontractor and here total cost rate so total 
and I'll make all borders here and let's make this smaller and going all the way down and the borders will be something like that so these are our borders and here again all borders and I'll copy the total here under each of these columns like this and I'll say the amount of the materials will be equal to material rate multiplied by the quantity and I need to dollar sign the column dollar sign E so that when I copy this here and here and here and here it remains same I'm multiplying the rate by the quantity so this is the rate of each of the cost elements multiplied by the quantity so this is the first step now second thing so let's call this tab actually BOQ this is the BOQ tab next tab will be materials so I'll make a material list here I'm showing you the full process so that you understand how to do it so here let's say material the material and price of the material and pair pair what so in this case what materials we will need we need to supply the porcelain tiles so this is a material and let's assume supply rate is 35 per square meter here so this is one thing then we need also let's say sand and let's say supply rate of the sand 50 per cubic meter I'll put here cubic meter and let's say cement and supply rate let's say 14 per what per bag okay so it's a material list it's just basically a list of all the materials that you have in your project I'm just making everything specific to the item that we are talking about but in a real life project this material list will be much bigger than that okay so here we can say also mortar and for the mortar to produce one cubic meter of mortar I need one cubic meter of sand plus 10 bags of cement let's say so that's 190 here I am getting if we make this seven bags only of cement then it becomes 150 whatever okay so now when I come here to my estimation first of all I want to estimate for the materials so I am supplying and installing 60 by 60 porcelain tile so I'll say here in the rate equal to supply rate which is 35 multiplied by 1.1 I am allowing for 10% wastage here so I am getting for the supply of the tiles 38.5 here here by the way this total rate will be equal to subcontractor plus manpower plus equipment plus material and this rate will be equal to ceiling 1 plus the markup that I will put here into the cost rate which is this one so in case I say I will increase the cost rate by 25% let's make this a percentage column so 25 here so it's basically 1.25 this rate is 1.25 multiplied by this rate this is the markup here I'll not make a column for it because it is not our subject now but just for you to understand so the first thing in the materials here we supplied the porcelain itself now we need sand and we need mortar how are you going to install this porcelain tile I'm going to assume that the depth of the finish is 7 centimeters sand and 2 centimeters of mortar then the porcelain itself is 8 mm or 1 centi so that's that's how you get your 10 centi depth porcelain tile so I need here plus 7 centimeters of sand so I'll say 0.07 multiplied by I'll go here in the materials and I'll choose this price and I'll multiply by 1.25 to allow for the swelling factor if you want to add 5% or something wastage that's also fine so here like that I'm allowing for the supply of the porcelain and I'm allowing for the sand to be used I'll say plus 0.02 by the way the 0.07 and the 0.02 this is the volume of sand that will come under one square meter of porcelain tile it's 0.077 centimeters 
multiplied by one, multiplied by one. So that's how you get a volume of 0.07 cubic meter. And for the mortar, 0.02 into one into one. So it's 0.02. Here I'll multiply the volume of the mortar by the rate of the mortar, which is here. Then I'll multiply this by 1.1 as a wastage. So I allowed for the supply of the porcelain tiles and the sand and the mortar to be used. So I'm getting here 46. So if the supply rate itself is 35, so I'm getting around 11 more. 11. This 11 includes the wastage and it includes the sand and it includes the mortar to be used. And for example, I'll add two or three more for the grouting and one or two more for the spacers. So just here, allowing for these things to happen. So I'm getting here, as you can see, 51 as materials. And I'm getting 102,000 to get the materials of the 2,000 square meters of porcelain tiles. I hope you are enjoying this video so far and I just want to take a moment to let you know about my new cost estimation course which I call the ultimate guide where I explain project cost estimation in details. And in the course I explain everything theoretically first then practically step by step estimating all the items for a real life project right in front of you. It's a very valuable resource if you want to learn cost estimation from start to end and you can find the course link in the video description down below and I hope you enjoy the rest of the video. Then now I need manpower to install this. So I'll create another tab here and I'll call it let's say manpower. And for the manpower what I need to do I'll say here item. So okay let me just make the borders here sorry the, the numbers. Okay, the item is installation of floor porcelain tiles. So this is the item. And for that I need labors. So I'll say here labor category. So what labors do I need? I need one mason and I need one unskilled labor. So labor category and labor category cost. So let's assume that cost per day for a mason is 170 and unskilled labor per day 120. Just assumption. So I'll get a total cost here per day of 290 for these two guys. Okay. Now I need the productivity. The productivity that I am going to assume. So how many square meters of porcelain tiles they can install? Let's say 10 or 12. Then cost per unit of measurement. So in that case it will be cost per square meter and it will be equal to this divided by this. So I am getting 24 here. So if I make this 14, it becomes less, it becomes 21. And in my BOQ, I can say here in the manpower will be equal to this, the cost per unit of measurement. So this is the supply of all the materials and this is the installation. And for example here, for the plant hand tools and all, let's allow something, two or three, whatever. So three or two. Subcontractors in this case, I don't need anything. Okay. Now some will say, okay, what about the shifting of the of the porcelain tiles, how the porcelain tiles will go to the room where it should be installed or something. Well, you can allow for that. If you want to allow manpower for that, you still can use this template, see how many unskilled labors you will use and how many approximate square meters of tiles they can shift per day. So you get the cost per square meter for that. And then you can add this cost to the cost here. But I don't want to complicate, so I'll just say plus three or four for the shifting. Okay, maybe you will need equipment, even crane or something. This is a different story. I'm just like looking into the basic cost elements, the basics of cost elements. So I'm getting here a cost rate of 78. So like in short or the summary of this, I am supplying the porcelain at 35, but including the installation and the wastage and the materials I will use to install so I'm getting a cost of 78 here and if I am assuming that the selling price will be 
cost plus 25%. So in that case, my selling price, if all these assumptions are what we really need, then my selling price for this item will be 98 in the BOQ like that. And this is how you analyze the rate. I did it for the porcelain floor tiles, but the same concept applies for all the items in the BOQ. And in this video here, I explain the same concept, same everything, but in a theoretical way. What is material? What is labor? What is plant or equipment? What is subcontractor? Cost elements? You can watch them from here. And that's it for this video. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.